good morning, my loves. Today is Saturday. Today is open house day. Right now, I'm on my way to go drop off open house signs. I have all my signs right here. The event starts at 11, and right now it's about 7.30 in the morning, so I'm trying to drop signs early. I really should have did it last night, but I didn't get home until 12 a.m. If y'all watched my last vlog, y'all will know why. But with that being said, you know, it is what it is. But I'm so excited for this open house. It's brand new construction, which I love. And the staging on the home looks so beautiful. Like in the photos, it looks really, really pretty. So I'm very excited to see it in person. Then after the open house, we have a birthday party event to go to at High Point. And then we have another birthday party dinner this evening at 6 p.m. in Raleigh. And then I'm driving back to Charlotte. We have a very full day today and yeah, I will show you guys around when I get there. I just pulled up. This is the house right behind me. Very, very cute. I'm going to go ahead and do a little walkthrough since I'm already here. And then I am going to drop signs and that's going to be it for now. I'm not going to turn on any lights right now. And I think I'm going to actually show y'all later. <laughs> The pictures fool me. I thought that the home was staged inside and it's not. Those pictures, like if you go to this listing online, look so real. I felt like the staging looks so real, but it's so pretty in here. Super, super pretty. I can't wait to show y'all later. Um, I'm just gonna make sure. Oh my God, this agent. Yes, ma'am. I love this. She has like a little book of the information. It's a hard copy, like, that is so freaking cute. Are you kidding? Yeah, there's all kind of brand new construction back there as well that y'all can see. So, but yeah, let's go drop these signs and then we'll come back later and do a walkthrough. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I put the sign right there. Like, is that too far away? I feel like it is. I need to, I need to bring that up. Okay, yeah, this is a much better placement. I like, I like. So let's go put them all out. So y'all know the townhomes I was just showing you like right behind the house. This is the community. I just decided to drive over here. So they're still in the building phase. All of the townhomes are, most of them now are priced high twos, low threes. And they have a few different type of floor plans. Is the sales center to below townhomes? It's about to start raining, but I put signs. This is like a busy road, so hopefully, we can drive traffic inside of the neighborhood where the house is located. Back in a car, us real estate agents, we basically live in a car if you don't know by now. I'm on my way home and I am going to make some breakfast. It's like 9 20 now. And hopefully we get some people to come through today. Like, why is it raining? People don't like to like be out and about in the rain. So that sucks. That sucks. It is what it is. The show must go on. I wanted to quickly debrief real quick because my husband just called me, right? And y'all let me know if y'all partners be doing the same stuff. Do they be blaming you for everything? Like, even when they mess up? Like, what? Like, he called me talking about because him and Prince went to go get haircuts this morning, right? So, he gets back to the house. He's like, you locked me out the house. And I'm like, no, I didn't. Like, maybe you forgot your key. He's like, I said, baby, you can open up the garage, like, from the car or whatever. The garage door is locked. Who fault is that? I don't ever come in and out of the garage. Like, I'm a front door girly, you know? So, mm, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. But, yeah, I get blamed. Like, why? Get your life together. How about you remember to get your keys before you leave? How about that? I don't 
don't understand why I get blamed for everything because I like the front door like a normal human being should and will and then I kid you not if he would have like came home from like work for example and the front door was unlocked then I would have also got blamed for having the front door unlocked so there's like a lose-lose situation here like I get blamed for everything I didn't even know you was grabbing it don't be getting no attitude let me see that coffee before you be acting crazy I'm just struggling deal with the goo troops outside and i would have got blamed if i would have left the door locked like i don't understand so how was i supposed to know you didn't have a key goofy maybe if you weren't rushing out the house this morning you would have had your life together you definitely a, a bit goofy okay thank you your daddy is a whole goofy prince goofball of the year leaving the house with no key your thing gonna say nvg most valuable goof. You gotta uh, wash your hair too, bro. You hear me? Would you expect him to just like go upstairs? Ew! <laughs> Ew! Do you expect? <laughs> Do you expect him to just go upstairs and like turn on the water and like wash his hair? Yeah. That's what you expect. Yeah. Prince, your daddy is a goofy. Like, literally. That's just because I've been around you for eight years. You smell like boiled eggs. Because I've been around you for eight years. Like, you're smoking. Because I've been around you for eight years. Like, you're smoking. I start keeping up bad habits. I feel like that's what some milk in here. I mean, it's good. Yo, take some shit off. Try it. Why are you always wanting to drink black coffee? It tastes like it's something. Like a pumpkin syrup. Oh, let me You want another truck? Like. Okay, I want a truck. Don't it taste like something in there? Yeah, like a sweetener or yeah. something. Yeah, they probably added a pack of sugar. Making the turkey bacon. And then I got some thick sliced bread for the French toast. Dang it, y'all. I know I forgot powdered sugar. Like, is the French toast gonna be good? Like, is the French toast even French toast without powdered sugar? I don't know. So. Let's go ahead and start. I have like an hour left before the open house, before I need to leave for the open house. Who all eating breakfast? Grandma, do you want breakfast? Do you want breakfast? I'm making eggs, bacon, French toast, and grits. Okay. Bay. No, it's not. Do you want any breakfast? Yeah. I didn't know if you got Chick Fil A. Dude, but y'all need cigarettes. Ouch! I know the good one. You be smacking. Yo, here you go. This is my outfit. It's a cute little peplum dress. And I have my heels. I'm about to head there. And I'm gonna get there like probably like 10 minutes before. It's kind of stopped raining. It's just like a little sprinkle or whatever. Yeah, it's so nice. Upstairs, you'll see the loft. And then there's the owner suite has a bathroom. And then there's Okay, so she just left. That was Miss Valerie. She was so nice. Um, so I, we had like a, we developed like good rapport and it helped because I was so excited about the house. I feel like when you're like excited about the open house, about like the new construction and just like pointing out different features, it just goes so well. Her only drawback was like, she didn't like how the living room here was like basically in her kitchen because like where would you sit your furniture so i do think that if this part was staged it would help maybe i can like show people pictures of how it was staged see y'all it was staged at one point i knew i was not going crazy it was staged at one point i think it's just like because it's been on the market this is the floor plan because it's been on the market for so long 
Like, it's been on the market since... Well, it's usually right there. It got cut off. I think they just decided to basically, like, remove the staging from this home so that they wouldn't be having a monthly cost. But I think it definitely would have helped to just like keep the downstairs area staged. But yeah, Miss Valerie was my first visitor today. She says she is currently renting over here in the Gastonia area and she's very used to home ownership. So she was like, I'm used to owning my own home. <laughs> and she was like, I just renewed my lease. I don't know why I did that. I'm paying $200 more a month. And I'm like, yeah, I understand. Well, let's keep in touch. Let me get your, your phone number and I'll send you my contact information. So I'm gonna send her my virtual business card. But I feel like we had a pretty good bond. So, and then her son, her grandson plays football over here in this area. But let me give y'all a tour because I'm just so excited. Like I'm rambling on. I'm just happy I got a, a visitor. Like it's raining. If y'all watched my vlog from yesterday, I didn't get anybody over here. It's just exciting. Like I love meeting new people, like prospective home buyers and you know, all of that. But anyways, I'm rambling again. Let me give y'all a tour of this home and show y'all some of the features that I love the most. I do not want to make this, <laughs> This vlog also too long. Gee Williker. So front door, right? I love like the little mini window within the front door so you can see, you know, who's coming. And it just gives like a bunch of extra lighting. So this is a flex space. Y'all look at that light fixture. It's gold with the little light bulbs. So freaking cute. And it's so much light into the space. So because it's so small, I mean, obviously you would probably make this an office or like a little sitting room, quiet room. And then right across the way, you have your formal dining area. Again, a bunch of lighting. Like there is a small crack in this window. So um, this home does come with a warranty. So the builder sh should be able to fix that um, prior to move in. And you have this closet here, but this is like your system. So it's not really like a coat closet or anything. And then this is going to be your living room area. So this is what she was talking about. Like just in terms of like positioning your furniture, this fireplace and the built-ins. Oh, that is so freaking cute. And then you have a double doors leading out to the backyard area more light i love 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 y'all this kitchen and excuse me if i'm talking too fast like this house is just so freaking cute like i want to move in it myself but i love how they added like this breakfast bar area for like additional seating that's really cute i love the long wide drawers soft clothes like and then these i had some of these at my old house I love how deep it is. Like, so freaking nice. The under lighting underneath the cabinets. I love that. I love this seat. <laughs> and I love her branding. Like, Laura works in our office and she has these cute little keychains. So freaking cute. And then on this side, you have built in microwave, stove. There is no refrigerator. I think you would have to like bring your own if you was to submit an offer. And then this pantry, so nice. And it extends all the way back here. Like you can't tell me you have that much food. Like, oh, so nice. All right, so the next part that I really like that I thought was cool is this little door. Lately builders, We'll make additional space underneath the staircase. So that's exactly what they did here. So you have your water heater. That's the system that I showed y'all on the other side, but this is like a little storage space. So I really like that. And then we're getting to my favorite part. This door leads to the garage. I'll show y'all that in a minute, but this is like my favorite part, y'all. I love this. All right, so this would be like washer dryer, right? And I be having the most laundry. So then you would just like have your laundry being folded right here. Oh my God, so freaking cute. And then it's like a little trash thing. Like I feel like this home is like very thought out. And then you have the wide deep drawers here as well. And then the half bath tucked away in the back. Like I love that. More windows, like 
you literally cannot not get enough windows. And then like right out here, two car garage, really nice. And then you have a door with the window leading to your backyard. Like this house is so freaking cute. I would probably extend my, um, the cement like back and have like a sitting area right here, like on the side. I'm gonna take y'all upstairs. Oh yeah, and this floor too is like so seamless. See y'all, look at that light fixture. The goal is giving. The goal is giving. I love the goal. So upstairs is all of the bedrooms. As soon as you come upstairs, you have a loft. It's not a huge loft, but it's a loft. Like you can fit something here. Like I love this. There's this bedroom kind of off to the side. So the bedrooms are also a pretty decent size as well. And they have the high vaulted ceilings with the closet. So nice. I feel like my tour is getting so long, but it's this house is like gorgeous. This is a secondary bedroom. Here, this is the third bedroom. You do have added access from this room. This is the main bathroom up here. Hey y'all. And then there's like a tub. So nice, like I even love this. Like it's not a standard toilet holder. Like it's like a little bit more, you know? I love the white and black, like, this is just too stinking cute. I love this. It's like a little towel bar. And then to the primary suite, this is the owner suite. I do feel like the lighting in this room is like not as great as the other rooms, even though you have three windows. Closet. It is kind of also like a smaller closet, but honestly, I'm not mad. And then this is the bathroom. They have a stand-up shower. Y'all, this house, like I love the towel. Can we get into the details? Like, let me open it up the door. Like what? I love the details. Like I love, so freaking pretty y'all. Like I'm gonna move in. I'm gonna call my husband after. The two light bulbs, um, the light went out. <laughs> so they need to replace those. But also the thing I don't like about this bathroom is the switches are behind the door. So that's kind of like inconvenient because soon as you, it's not a huge inconvenience, but as soon as you walk in, like you know how usually you can like flip on the light right here. Like you literally have to walk all the way around, open up the door and then shut it on and off. So that's my only negative feedback for that. But yeah, I love this house so much and I wanna move in. I wanna move in. It's enough space for me and my family, for sure. Like this house is so nice. And the price is right as well. Like it's not a bad price, like 439. And you're next to new construction. Like, let me show y'all the backyard. Got your built-in fireplace. It's so nice. In this like large paved area, like usually in new construction, they don't even give you all of this paved area out here. Like, look at that. Usually they give you like a little slab, like a little block, but they literally like paved all of this. You still have backyard space over there. It is like mostly flat and then you also have space over there. Like, are you kidding? Move me in. Like, what do you mean? Oh, this house is so nice. I really just can't get over it right now. I'll check in with y'all later. I have a visitor. All right, and all we had two visitors today. The last people that came in, they came in right when I was locking up and had already turned off all the lights. They came in at like one o'clock. So the lady actually lives in the neighborhood and this was her second time coming over to the house. So she was like, 
uh, do I think that they'll go down, but the home is honestly fairly priced. Like it truly is a steal. I'm not just saying that because I'm a real estate agent, but it really is like a, it's a nice house for the price. I feel like I'm kind of like rushing right now because I need to go pick up all my signs that I put out and then as soon as I get home, I need to get out of these clothes, get in my other clothes because I'm going to a kid's birthday party event in High Point. And then right after that, I'm driving to Raleigh for a birthday dinner. So it's just like back to back nonstop. So I'm about to go pick up these signs and then I'll probably, because I'm being in a rush when I get home, I'll just see y'all at the birthday party later. Bye. Y'all, we was on the way to the birthday party and like the tire is literally flat. Like two thing and we got triple a and triple a just got here it's gonna drag the front end yeah. i gotta catch y'all up the tow truck couldn't put the car on because um it was just the wrong type of tow truck and the cadillac has a super low profile so it would have scraped the car and now we're at safari nation back at safari nation Davon is with the car, so we're gonna let Prince play around. Bryson got food all over his clothes. Y'all cannot. Bryson got food all over his clothes. Y'all see that? Like, everything is a hot mess right now. Hey, we just here with the, uh, it's an y'all it is like 11 o'clock at night we're home safe in sound in charlotte it's like 11 o'clock at night we call AAA. our car is still at the gas station i'm so tired i'll see y'all tomorrow Shot me that attraction, don't need no flow. High fashion, I go, y'all. Did you bag a ring for the road?